What's up YouTube? So we got a lot of things going on on my desk right now and they all have to do with T-Mobile's home internet. I've been a huge believer for about two years of T-Mobile's 5G service and it just keeps getting faster and faster and thanks to the waveform antenna I'm definitely reaching one gigabit a second download speeds and that's happening on the regular. So when I first got T-Mobile's home internet I was probably getting two, three hundred and I was kind, kind of happy with it. It was okay especially for the price I was paying. And then speeds just gradually got faster and faster and now again thanks to the quad mini antenna I'm getting gigabit speeds. I never thought I'd get gigabit speeds from T-Mobile's home internet service but today we're going to check out the quad pro and this is an external antenna it's a directional antenna so you do have to face it in the direction of your cell tower and I'll leave a link down in my description if you don't know where your closest cell tower is you can use that web service to find out where it is but unlike the quad mini this is definitely bigger and it's designed to be placed on the outside, whereas the Quad Mini is placed on the inside. Now I should get much better, much better speed and range and metrics when it comes to using the Quad Pro versus the Quad Mini. So I'm going to do some tests. I'm going to have to kind of position it on my roof to get the best, best kind of mounting experience. Before I head up onto the roof, guys, I just want to show you what's included. Now this is their Quad Flex cable, and it's a lot more flexible than the old cable was. The old cable, you basically could not bend it. So rerouting the old cable was pretty a pretty hard task if you ask me. And I, I managed to get it done, but it was not easy. But thanks to the quad flex cable, this is going to flex a lot easier. But speaking of going through your walls, and I'm actually going to use this setup. This is their window window sill mount cable solution. So basically, you can still close your window while passing the passing the wires through. So this is great for anybody that, that doesn't really want to drill into their home, that doesn't really want to create a whole bunch of holes where you don't have to. Being able to just slide this through, open and close your window as you usually do, is something I actually really like. And their mounting system is all new and improved this year as well. So you can drill this directly onto the outside, onto your wall. So you can put the anchors right through there. Or you can still use a U-bolt if you already have a pole and just pass the U-bolts right, right through the mount on the bottom there. Now the good thing about the new mounting system, of course Waveform give you all the necessary tools, high quality tools at that, but what I like about this new mounting system is it makes it very easy to kind of find the best place to put your antenna. So I'm just kind of loosening these bolts so I can show you, show you what this does. The great thing about this new mounting system, it is allows you to incrementally kind of rotate your antenna so you can get that perfect perfect angle when you're trying to find your, your closest tower here. So if this is on the wall guys, pretend this is on the wall, you can just kind of rotate it ever so slightly one degree at a time until you get that perfect perfect point to your antenna and you can also rotate it vertically. So I like this mounting system, it makes it very easy. Let me tell you when I was up there mounting the old one it was, a, it was a little bit of a pain, so I am happy to see this improved, improved mounting system right here. If ever you need to switch towers, if you find the new tower went up, just go ahead and loosen, loosen the bolt there. And then you can rotate it to wherever you need to rotate. So again, Waveform, you're doing a really awesome job in improving your products. And of course, here are the bolts and everything that you need. So a huge shout out to Waveform for sending this over for review, but also for making it more consumer friendly and, and kind of making it a little bit easier to install because I'm sure a lot of you shied away from installing the Quad Pro or from any other external antenna just because of how hard it is to install. But now it's very simple, now it's very easy, everything's included in the box to get you going. And if this still seems like a lot to you, if you're like, man, I don't know if I want to do that, check out their Quad Mini. I gotta tell you, huge believer in the Quad Mini, not gonna lie, no joke, no paid sponsorship. I got the mini hooked up and I'm hoping this is going to give me even faster speeds. But let's go ahead. I've been talking for a while showing you what this is all about. I got to jump up on the roof while it's still nice and see what this is all about. Let's go upstairs. So here we are, beautiful sunny day. I'm about to repurpose that old satellite dish and use that J mount for my waveform antenna. I know exactly where my best tower is and it's pointed in the opposite direction. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. But just to show you, Here's my old waveform right above me. So this is gonna get replaced with the brand new Quad Pro. Let's get to it. A few moments later. I really like how easy it is to install this new mount here. And again, I've repurposed this old J mount. 
and it's super simple. Slide it in just like that. It really couldn't be any, any easier. Now, the beauty of this mount, once again, is you can rotate it very, very easily. So in the beginning of my video, I said I was gonna point it in the direction of, of where I know my antenna is. But to keep things fair, I'm actually gonna point it in the same direction where my quad mini is pointed. And that's in the opposite direction. But with this mounting system, I can easily come up here. And if I find that I wanna switch the antenna, if I wanna switch the tower, I can just kind of loosen these bolts, then we're good to go. So let me finish tightening these bolts up, then we're going to finish the installation. The next step is to insert the Quad Pro. It just slides on in, just like that. So the installation is starting to take form. Super easy, much easier than the old one, I got to tell you. To show you how easy it is, once you loosen, loosen the bolts on the inside, when you need to do adjustments, it just swivels very, very easily. One last step as we connect the cables. We got a little bit of weatherproofing here. So now in the winter, all of our cables are protected in the environment. Nice little weatherproofing. And we're all done. This literally took me about 10 minutes and that includes removing the old satellite dish. So I got to give Waveform credit. This new mounting system not only is going to make it very easy to rotate the antenna to find out where the best signal is, but it's also really easy to install. Shout out to these guys for improving their product. There's the waveform antenna. Alright, so I'm doing something a little bit unconventional. I've got my antenna all hooked up and I've got my G4AR right on the ground here. Number one, this cable is not long enough for my use, so I have to get a longer cable if, if this proves to be faster than the Quad Mini. And number two, well, that's really the only reason I'm doing this because this cable is not, not long enough. So I'm still going to do a speed test. I'm going to be standing right next to the gateway. So we're going to get some really fast speeds over Wi-Fi 6. Let's go ahead, see what's going on. So I've just about finished the installation of the Quad Pro. So before we switch over from my Quad Mini to the Quad Pro, let's take a look at some of my metrics here. Here's my LTE metrics. So these are my 5G metrics, which have pretty much stayed about the same. Now my signal to noise ratio has always been in the low single digits, six, seven, eight, nine. Here's my reference signal received power as well. It's usually around the 75 mark, 80. And then the reference signal is usually about 10. So let's do one speed test right before we switch on over. And I am standing right next to the router. So let's see what we're gonna get here. There we go, 990. I am not shocked, I am not surprised. But let's go ahead, switch over to the Quad Pro and see if our metrics improved. I'm also gonna try and connect to that same tower. So the tower ends in 149. I'm, I'm really gonna try and see if I can get it to connect. I've pointed my Quad Pro in the same direction as the Quad Mini. So this way we can get a fair apples to apples type of comparison. Let's go back up to the roof. So once again, I'm standing right on the roof and here we have our connection strength is excellent. Let's see if we got to that 149 antenna. We did not, but I'm still getting some pretty good, some pretty good metrics. You can see my signal to noise reference has definitely gone higher from that 8.79 all the way up to 15. My reference signal is also improved at 63. And if we take a look at the received quality, that's still about the same at a 10. But this was our old speed test, if you guys remember. So 740, I'm gonna reposition the antenna just a little bit and see if we can switch over the tower. But well, this is still a very respectable speed. Now my loaded speed has increased quite a bit at 229. Let's go ahead and do one more speed test before we switch positions of this antenna. So about 600. Let me go ahead and reposition and see what we get.
All right, so we found the right antenna, 149. So now we can definitely compare apples to apples. Let's kind of let it do its thing. Really connect to this tower for about a couple seconds here. Do a little refresh. Now, if we look at my advanced metrics, once again, you can see a huge improvement versus the mini. My signal receive quality is still about the same, but the receive power has definitely increased. So it's now at about a 61. And my signal interference to noise ratio is really a lot better as well. Do a little refresh really quickly. So it's going up just a little bit, 14.7. Remember it was about nine, it dropped down to 8.7. I usually see it about the six or seven range. So we seem, seems that the antenna's kind of settled in. Let's go ahead and do a speed test really quickly. All right, that definitely is not good. 63, make sure we're connected. Yep, we're connected to the hotspot. I'm not even gonna wait for this to finish. Let's go ahead and do a refresh. So it's still only about 70, 71. Let's go back and check the metrics. Metrics are still pretty good. Let's do one more refresh here. I mean, that's the name of the game when it comes to these antennas. You really gotta mess around with it. And in my experience, a better, better metrics don't equate to faster speeds, to be honest, at least not in my area. If you live somewhere out in the in the woods and the sticks, increasing those metrics is going to give you a much better, much better speed. So I'm not happy with this. I'm going to do one more rotation of the antenna. You saw I was getting about 700 when I switched it. So I've switched the antenna. Now I know the name of that one there. I think it ends in 36. So I'm going to do a quick restart of my gateway, which is still chilling right on the floor there. Hopefully we're going to connect to that right tower and get some faster speeds. All right, so it seems that I'm still connected to the same 49, 49 cell tower. Now that's, that's really been my experience with the larger antennas. They will connect to whatever they want to connect to. Now I, I know I'm in a special area and I've reached out to Waveform. And because I have so many antennas around, it really takes some time to pinpoint and position this Quad Pro exactly to get that right, that right cell tower. But in any event, my metrics, again, you can see a little improvement over the, over, the, over the quad mini. So let's just do a speed test. So a little bit of an improvement, not by much though. So to, to give it the old college try, I'm gonna reposition the quad pro. I mean, it's so easy to reposition, I might as well. I'm gonna give it one more attempt at getting a fast faster speed than my quad mini. So let's just go ahead and do it. This is what you gotta do to really find that perfect spot. Now, once again, there is the cell tower that I'm trying to connect to, right up in the sky there. So let's hope we can do it. All right, the last college try, guys. Let's go ahead and see, I'm still connected to the 149 cell tower. Let's see if my metrics have improved any. Not really, so it's a little perplexing and quite honestly, like I've said, I've, I've spent a lot of time with waveform and I'm just in an area that has a lot of towers and there's a lot of overlapping. So for me personally, the quad mini is the best solution, but hey, maybe I'm wrong. You see my metric just went up to 15 for the signal to noise. Let's go ahead and do a speed test here, guys and see if we get any improvement. So we're getting a little bit of improvement. So let's go ahead and do one more speed test. You saw I got 510, and then we'll head back to the office and I'll give you my final thoughts. 
Here we go, we're getting the highest I ever got so far from the antenna, and you really do have to play with the positioning. Let's see if my latency, so my latency is definitely improved as well. Unloaded is still about the low 20s. Loaded about 73 in my upload. Definitely an improvement. Let's go ahead and, and check that out. I'm gonna do one more speed test. Six hundred. Still a very respectable speed. So I've finished my testing with the Quad Pro here. Now I'm in a unique location, as you can see. I'm here in New York City, very, very dense city, very, very dense in terms of population, towers, interference, all of that wireless good stuff. For me, the Quad Pro just isn't a solution that I am going to stick with. Again, the Quad Mini was intended for urban environments. It was designed to be that omnidirectional, omnidirectional antenna for the more densely populated cities. So I think for my specific use case, I am going to stick with the Quad Mini. I wish I had a country home that I could test out the Quad Pro. Again, you saw my metrics improved, so it does increase increase your metrics and you do get a much stronger signal quality. So it really all depends. I mean, these things come down to a bunch of different variables. If you have a home and you already have a tower where you have a, a TV antenna mounted, you might as well pick up the Quad Pro and, and kind of attach it to that pole and, and spend some time. Trust me, you're gonna spend a couple hours getting that perfect location. If you're in the country, you might only have one tower to choose from, so it's gonna be a lot easier for you to pinpoint where you have to point the Quad Pro to. If you're in a densely populated area like I am, I'd go for the Quad Mini hands down. It's just easier, it's, it's more compact. You can mount it inside, you can mount it outside. Just an overall better solution for the city. For the country though, I did see my metrics go up in the city, so I can only imagine in the country you're gonna get a much better, which equates to stronger and faster signal quality. I really appreciate you guys watching. I gotta take all my gear back inside, but thanks for watching. I'll leave some links down in my description. If you have any questions, let me know as well. Catch you another video. Just as a bonus, guys, I've gone ahead and connected back to the Quad Mini. Or let's do a speed test. Let's go ahead and re refresh the statistics here. So my signal to noise is back to about that low, low digits, 7, 77, 10, and we're still connected to that 149 tower. Let's go ahead over and do a speed test. Back into the 900s, go ahead and see the loaded, unloaded latency. It's about 20 and 90. Speed upload is 140, 150. So everything seems to be on par. Now, once again, it's not a knock on the Quad Pro. A lot of people will benefit from the Quad Pro 100% for show. Yes, I did that on purpose, but the Quad Pro generally is meant for people that live live in suburbia, that live out in the country, that don't have an, a lot of towers around them. Let me just refresh as we continue chatting here. Now the Quad Mini, once again, is the perfect solution for those of you that live in that urban environment like I do. It's, it's omnidirectional, so you're really gonna, get the, really gonna get the benefit of connecting to any of those towers that are around you. The Quad Pro, if you only have one or two towers that you can connect to, is going to be your best solution. You're gonna get some faster, Faster speeds, you're also gonna get some improved metrics. You're definitely gonna be able to connect to those towers that are further away. Quad Mini, once again, urban environment, you know what it's all about. Appreciate you guys watching. Thumbs up, subscribe, catch another video.